Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, an old man. We got a new grill, and today we're gonna do an unboxing, we're gonna do an assembly, we're gonna do a little bit of an overview of this brand new Z Grill. This is a 700 series, folks. And I'll leave the link down below. And this is, I tell you, you're saying, looking over there, you say, yeah, that, that's the older model. They listened to you, the customer, and said, you know what? We want to listen to the customer, do a few things that they've been asking for. And one of the, a couple things they've done, I'll just go through this real quick, and then we'll get into the assembly. And then, you know what, I'll have some following videos. We're going to do the first click on it. We're also going to do a comparison between the new model and the old model. But this one's all about the unboxing, putting it together. It's just going to show you a whole bunch of features that this grill has. And one of the things right off the bat, folks, they put a PID controller in this. Very, very nice PID controller and two Pro ports. Makes it really easy. They even got a fast feed on there. So if you're cooking, you want to give a quick, quick, uh, a quick blast of pellets to get temp up a little bit. You could do that in there. You got a 24 pound hopper. That'll go all night and all day, folks. I'll tell you what. That's really nice. And I'll tell you what. Look at the bottom there. Those are eight inch rubber, rubber wheels, folks. So you can take this. You can take this off road. Take it to the back patio. Take it through the grass. And you've got casters on there. Locking casters. Very nice. There's the old one. This is the new one. I'll tell you what, they've thought of a lot of stuff on there. And they've kept a lot of the solidly built features that this grill has always had. And that's what I liked about it. It's an affordable pellet grill that's solidly built. And there in the back there, what's that? that? That is a pellet dump. So if you want to dump out your pellets and change to another flavor, you can do that also. So a lot of nice features here, 700 square inches of cooking. I'll tell you what, let's get into the unboxing assembly. Keep on watching and we'll show you a whole lot more, folks. All right, first things first, before we open up the box, this is what we got right here. Uh, everybody always asks, what's the price, what's the price, what's the price? But you, you see right now, this thing's going for $529. Uh, it's regularly goes for $700. They got it on sale for $175, $170 bucks off. That's a great deal. And let's just uh, look at some of the other things that this has. Three-year three -year warranty, that's pretty good. Uh, this is their new one. So this has got a uh, PID controller, that's cool. Meat probes, two of them, hopper clean out, pellet view window, and rain cover included. Uh, we'll take a look at that cover because that, uh, like I said, I've got the other 700, and uh, the uh, cover they give with this, and they don't make a big enough deal about it, is that it is, uh, it is a nice cover for those of you who keep your stuff outside. This thing weighs uh, 113 net weight, 131, that means gross weight. That's with the pellets in there. It's got a 24 pound pellet hopper. That's pretty doggone big. And then it's got a 500 square inches on the bottom, 193, and that's where they're coming up with their 700 square inch. So I'll tell you what, let's get that box open. Pretty cool, eh? All right, got the box open. I'll tell you what, everything's packaged real nice as most manufacturers do, but look at that right at the top. Simple installation instructions. So they've got separate books for these things, but this one, look at that. There's four steps to putting this thing together. I like that, I like that a lot. Let's go a little bit deeper. All right, folks, took about 10 minutes, got it all unpacked, got it ready to start for assembly. If, that's what I did, took everything out first, got everything kind of laid around here. Don't, don't, don't tell my wife I'm doing this in the kitchen, but uh, you know, here's a little details. I'll give you a pair of gloves to help in assembly, and my other 700 had the same thing. Uh, these wheels that are on here, you're looking at them, and these, these are heavy. These are, there's, these are rubber wheels, and they're eight inch, so you could take this across any rough surfaces, across the grass, and locking casters on the front. The other 700 series did not have that. There's your, uh, underneath that, there's your three-year warranty. You've got this nice, nice, grill. Uh, I mean, the, the lid there is nice and polished. I like, you know, I like to keep my grills clean. This hinge, the hinges are very heavy duty. I like that a lot. Uh, we've got, here's our hopper. Uh, our PID is in the plastic there. I left it in the plastic, but it has two probes uh, and they send two probes. A lot of manufacturers will put like four probes on, on their grill and then send you one. And then it's up to you to order order your own. You've got a stainless steel burn pot, I, I, I like that. Nice nice, nice detail there. There's your uh, blister pack. They, they're trying to use one size screw for everything. I like that, great idea. They even give you a screwdriver and a wrench to help with assembly. Uh, here's a really good idea. As they've labeled the legs, right rear, right front, left rear, left, left leg. There's those quick instructions. So to make things easier for you, there's your smokestack. I talked about the grill cover there. That's a nice grill cover. You've got your porcelain cover grates right here. You've got your bottom and your, and your top. 
you've got your grease tray right there. And I left the plastic on there because I'm going to wash that. It's got a little bit of oil on that that they keep uh, for shipping to, to keep it from rusting. And we're going to wash that with some warm water and soap. And the same thing for the heat shield. And what I like about this heat shield is that they they understand that that's one of the hottest parts of the grill. And these things have a tendency to warp. And that's why they've reinforced theirs. Not many manufacturers do that, folks. So, you know, I, I just... I, a lot of people have criticism for this company. And I'll tell you what, they build grills for other people. I get people all the time telling me, well, that looks just like my grill. Well, I wonder who's making that grill for you, folks. Uh, it, it probably was Z Grills. So we're going to start putting this together and uh, take you along for the whole process. All right, folks, I don't want to get too far ahead of you so you can see what's going on here. But uh, what you do is you put the wheels on first. Super simple to do, folks. Uh, and then the caster just screw into the bottom. Now, these are totally cylindrical, round type tapered legs and uh, they're solid at the top, solid at the bottom. So super heavy duty. And then to attach them to the barrel, there's three screws in each. Now, uh, to be honest with you, it would be easier if you had help. I'm doing this by myself, but it is doable. But you can see I'm using, I'm using a cordless screwdriver with a long bit on it and that makes it doable. And then I got a flashlight inside the grill that helps me line up the holes I get one in first, and then I pivot it up, line up the other tools, and then drive them home. Super simple, folks. All right, folks, just took a couple of minutes. Put this brace on here. You've got a brace on each leg down there, and then a brace on the back. Each one takes four screws, and uh, everything is, uh, it's, it's not self-helpers, but there's a, there's a nut in every single one of those. So all you gotta do is line them up and, uh, <laughs> Away you go. Like I said, using the cordless makes it really quick. This didn't take more than five minutes. All right, got the hopper extension on. That's just four screws. And there's actually a screw and a nut for those four. But uh, that's the only ones. Now inside, uh, we put the uh, PID on. And that just takes two self-tappers. Real self-explanatory. But then there's this guard. And this is the guard right here. And the guard goes in like that and then there's three self tappers and it protects the wires right there so good idea all right we're getting ready to put the hopper in to the hole right there and uh we've got the you got to find the rtd probe and that's this thing right here and it's hidden down in there i, I had to use a coat hanger that i bent up to get it uh out of that groove in there but once i got it out it was no problem now that, that goes in there and that's your, here you're saying what's the RTD probe. That's what tells the controller what the temp is. That's what tells our PID what the temp is. So that's very, very important. So we're going to uh, slide that in. There's four bolts that goes into there, super simple. And then there's the, uh, the rest of the connection for the probe. All right, so just to show you how I have this position, they make this cord really long. So you can hook it up right there on the floor and then it goes in that little trough right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in that hole. I've got two of the bolts up there. And then while I'm holding it with one here, and I'll get the other two bolts going. Uh, simple like that. You want, you, want, you want to watch? This could be long. But we're going to pick it up like this. You see it coming in right now. I'm tucking my wires in. It's not that hard to do. It's actually kind of simple. And then I'm just going to line up. One of my holes, part of my head. And of course, there we go. Just, just like that, and then we'll get another one in, in the top hole. That's the bottom hole. Doing this by hand, doing it blind, so you can see that it's really kind of easy to do. All right, there's two of the four in. I'll get the other two in, and uh, 
that was probably one of the hardest parts of the assembly right there. All right, our 24 pound hopper is installed and uh, ready for use. I did use a socket on that and that is a 11 millimeter and got a nice and tight and uh, we're moving right along, right? And that didn't take more than five minutes, folks. So we'll keep on going. Um, I think the, the hood is next. All right, so to get the hood installed, there's four screws. They're, they're already installed, you take them out. And then what I'm doing is I'm just putting the two back ones in loosely. And then I'm gonna adjust the door either way so that it fits. Like I said, you wanna get it as snug as possible, and that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and snug those two back ones on, and then there's two more that we'll put on in the front. Super simple, folks. All right, got the handle on now. You're gonna see there's, look at, the, look at that chrome-plated, uh, uh, that's really nice, that accent there. I think it's there to help stiffen the hood, and we, we did readjust the hood, and it's pretty tight. I usually do put a gasket, so. Those of you who are wondering, I will probably put a gasket. I do that on every pull draw. But uh, that one on, uh, really nice. And once that's polished up, oh man, <laughs> that's gonna look nice. Now, you know what we're missing? Yeah, chimney. Well, there it is. Let's get her on. All right, the blaster pack is empty. That means we're getting down to the end. Chimney, there is uh, two bolts uh, and two nuts for this, believe it or not, and a gasket that goes on. So the total nuts, if you're wondering uh, how many nuts did you have to use to put this together, there were four for the hopper extension and then two for the chimney. Everything else is uh, like a self-tap type deal where you just put it in and it uh, just finds a hole and you just screw it in. It works really, really nice. So we'll, we'll get this chimney on and we are just about done. All right, folks, I said I would show you the cover. This is the cover that comes with the grill. You don't have to buy this extra. Z Grills. Gives a cover with every grill they sell. And that's what's great about Z-Grills. They take care of you, the customer. All right, folks, there it is all put together and ready to go. Man, I tell you what, that is a nice looking pillow grill. I, I tell you what, we're, we're going to do a lot more videos on this. Like I, I said this before, uh, I want you to keep on watching. We're going to do some comparisons. We're going to do a first cook. We're going to chest. We're going to check out this cool new controller, PID controller. Two probes that comes with it. It's got a fast feed on there if you want to give a quick burst of pellets to get the heat up or whatever. You can do that with that. It's got a viewer window, you know, just a lot of cool stuff here on this. And they listen to you guys, the, uh, you know, the consumer and said, hey, you know, there's a pellet clean on that side. On the inside, lots of space. I'll tell you what, two 700 square inches. You've got a nice porcelain coated bottom shelf, half, half shelf up here, porcelain coated. Uh, nice large drip pan. This is the way a drip pan should be. None of this curved things with the slider and all that. Just too hard to clean, keep clean and get the grease to, to come off. Uh, this is the way to do it, folks. Got temp probe over there. I'll tell you what, this is just a awesome, awesome grill. And uh, if, you're, if you're wondering, yes, I did put gasket on there. I like that. And you're saying, well, is that is that to keep the heat in? Well, it'll do a little bit of that. But the main reason I do it is just to keep the grill clean. Otherwise, Smoke will have some smoke possibly coming out of the top here, and this helps keep it clean. That's just what I do. You don't have to do that. It doesn't make it do anything better other than help keeping it a little bit more clean. Uh, and it's a phenomenal grill, folks. So like I said, keep on watching. We're gonna do a burn-in next, and then we're gonna do our first cook, and then we're gonna do a comparison. Yeah, you're saying there's another z grill back there. That's another 700 series. This is the older style one. This is the newer style one. And uh, we're gonna do a comparison between those two also. So Tom Horseman on YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. Don't forget to check out Z Girls, www.zgirls.com. Folks, appreciate you watching. Thank you.